one of the things good spiritual directors will do will people they'll say who do you pray to and that often reveals certain dynamics so i was asked that once by a spiritual director and i said well i pray to jesus and find him easy and she said so you have a problem with god as father and given my background and my abusive father i actually do have a, a difficulty with god as, as father so uh, you know the, the, the trinity works out every day in our relationships so for some people um, if we don't have an understanding of the Trinity, God is a bit like Star Wars. You know, it's, it's an impersonal force. May the force be with you. Um, so the Trinity is important because it's about God is relational. So the first thing about the Trinity is God exists in relationship himself. He doesn't need us, but he shares himself with us. That's massive when it comes to, to prayer. Is God impersonal or relational? And then, you know, the different aspects we can relate to God. And you see in Scripture... Even though the Trinity is not expressly in Scripture, there is God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the, the church plays catch-up with this later on. But, you know, there are times when we do pray to God as Father. I mean, Abba Father, one of the earliest prayers of the church. You know, God is our Father. But other than a Father, God also comes to us in Christ as a friend interceding for us. And so we might, you know, appeal to Christ for, for in different things in different ways. So I think that's just one of the most exciting things about prayer and worship, that we get to worship God as Father, Son, and, and Holy Spirit relationally with all these complex dynamics. And that means the Trinity in our spirituality and worship and prayer connects to everybody in so many amazing ways. It's one of the fantastic things about it.